Hello everybody and welcome back to our career mode here in NASCAR Heat Evolution for the PlayStation 4. My name is James or James Blades and welcome to race number 20 of the NASCAR season. Our first year in the Sprint Cup Series and today we are at the Yard of Bricks. The very famous uh, Indianapolis Motor Speedway. I almost forgot the name. Last race, you didn't see it. It was at New Hampshire. The video got corrupted. I don't think you missed much. Finished 39th. It's Loudon. It's not a good track. And uh, it wasn't a good performance. So, so far in points, a little glitch. It doesn't show it in the chase standings. But we are right below David Reagan in 13th spot in the chase. So, currently we're 13th. It doesn't show us on there. Um, I'm sure it'll be fixed after this race or whatever by the time we enter the race, but there are just seven races to go. We need to start improving on our position and it hopefully will start here in Indianapolis Motor Speedway. So today, the annual running of the Your Hero's Name Here 400 presented by Crown Royal. Will we kiss the bricks? I'm getting just no I'm gonna say no but that doesn't mean we still stop trying you know it, we don't give up we haven't given up all year long and um, it's been a successful year especially with Dover got our first win and right now 13 different drivers have won it's creeping towards that number of 17 different drivers but I think we're safe to make the chase. So right now, we're going to focus week at, week by week. And this week is Indianapolis. So in qualifying, you guys see here, this is our hot lap. For qualifying, we had a warm-up lap. Now this is the lap that really matters. And this is qualifying session one. So hopefully, get a good result here. We can move on to session two. Possibly session three if we have an exceptional session two and hopefully start this race in front of the field the race is 11 laps you do get 10 laps on fuel counting the starting lap lap one whatever you want to call it um so one pit stop i think that's mandatory for every race except maybe the coke uh 600 but we're so far past that now and that's so far behind us so guys qualifying session one is over we actually qualify 19th, so top 24 move on, we got 19th, we move on as well. And now it's qualifying session 2, where 24 will be cut into 12, so now our goal, get 12th, get anything else higher than that, that'd be great, but in this qualifying session, we didn't run the same laps. I looked at the speedometer right there in the bottom of the screen, towards the middle, right there where the steering wheel is with a little tape indicates middle or it's steady or whatever and we really didn't run good laps right here this corner did not help us out we had to crank the wheel you guys can see us fighting the wheel right here and just not good laps i mean they were good laps for us but it, i guess like by a standard for everyone else they were just awful and then like the fear of hitting newman right there that probably has something to do with it and then we're forced on the outside. We can't dive low. And then that makes us really just lose control of the car into turn three. And then out of turn four, we had a good exit, good entrance, good exit in turn four. That just turn three really messed us up. And after that, we find out we come down pit road here shortly. In just a second, we qualified 18th. So now the race is going to start. We're going to start 18th. Rick Allen, take it away from Indianapolis Motor Speedway for the Your Heroes Here, Your Heroes Name Here 400, presented by Crown Royal. Before that, we make little adjustments. Hope you guys enjoyed the race. 11 laps. Let's get it started. Welcome to NASCAR on NBC. I'm Rick Allen, and today we're coming to you from Indianapolis Motor Speedway. Today's running of the Brickyard 400. It's always special to return to this historic racing venue. Indiana's home to many NASCAR drivers, all of whom grew up with big dreams of kissing the bricks here at Indy.
Thank you, Rick Allen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Circle City, Indianapolis. Ladies and gentlemen, green flag is in the air. We are rolling from the brickyard. In 18th starting position, that would quickly go away as the inside lane would just pass us with ease. As it looks like we're standing still on the outside. That's because our car, of course, you guys know, isn't as good as the other competitors. Not even 35th and on back. It's actually worse. But we're upgrading. We're saving money. Making upgrades every week. We'll get there. We will definitely get there. I think year two will be our year. And, uh, yeah. So, lap one. Go from 18th to 25th. That's not bad, though. When the race started... I thought we were going to just honestly fall all the way back. Not the case, obviously, and I'm glad for it because now we actually are holding momentum. We're battling right now. I think what's that, Michael and Ned on our outside, and we're coming up on Trevor Bain. So one lap down in the books, we do drop six spots, and uh, or actually seven spots, and it, it's okay because we're holding our own right now. We are going to try and come in on this lap if we can. If not, then lap three. Remember, we do have to make a pit stop here. And it's not going to be fun if we are on the outside and have to let everyone pass us. You want to get as high as you can and then probably, you know, dive low as best you can. This car, though, it's always had trouble coming into pit road. And even during qualifying, slowing down for pit road and just getting down to speed with it without spinning out it really just it doesn't happen so right here we're forced to go high and guess what we're thinking about pitting this lap forget it no one's gonna let us and even if we did probably black flag black flag or just completely lose the car so uh right there we make the decision not to and guess what chase elliott's here he gives us a little bump let me tell you guys about chase elliott this race he moved that Napa car to the front of the field. At the end of this race, I'm not going to give anything away. We saw him from right now where he is in what? 26? He moved up. He definitely moved up. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'll tell you even if you don't, just because that Napa know-how car knew how to get to the front of the field and credit to Chase Elliott. Yeah, it's virtual, but I mean, look at the moves he's making. Yes, some guys back here probably don't belong up here. We probably don't belong to still have this spot. And guess what? Now we're going to give it up. Chase Elliott, though, he would continue on flying by. And we would go into pits. And coming out, we're lap 7. We're 39th spot. We need to make something happen. Because with just 5 to go, right here we hit the wall. That's our first time hitting the wall. We had to fight the wheel. I thought we were good coasting. That was not the case. And we need to make something happen. So you can kind of see, I think, barely at the very end of the straightaway, you're going to see cars turning. Or that's my imagination. But it was really hard to see out of the windshield today. I think we are just barely, barely catching the tail end of whatever pack it is. Maybe... 15th, 30th, 35th, I don't know. We're barely catching them, but we've made our pit stop, and as long as the caution doesn't come out, other guys will have to make their pit stop soon. And yeah, we're catching some of the field. I can't say any, but right here, we make our moves, and we move all the way up to 36th. Now 35th, lap 8, 4 to go. This is the time you want to start moving. I don't expect to win. Honestly, I don't expect a top 20 unless, you know, a caution comes out. We get really lucky, but right there, we're sitting in 35th. I'm A-OK -okay with it. I don't know if you guys are, but I'm A-OK -okay with it just for what this car has done all race long. And we, there were no cautions. Let's just say now there are no cautions. No cautions come out in the next two, three laps. So, caution-free race. And guess what? We're not done moving up. 35th to 34th. 34th to 33rd. Thank you, Biffle. Thank you. I think that was Almendinger. We are flying now. We are edging in the top 30. Lap 9 of 11. 3 to go. Guess what? 
that lasts all the way to 29th spot. However, on the last lap, heading into turn three, devastation. We let off. We got too excited. We get back in the gas way too early. Slam the car against the wall. Slam it against the safer barrier. No caution brought out. Remember, it's the last lap, and we have to ride this thing out. So instead of coming back on the track, probably like an idiot, we ride the apron. I guess you can call it an apron. All the way to the front stretch. We come back up on the track, and we're going to finish 33rd. So from 27th, or 29th, I think it was, from like late 20s, we finish 33rd. Obviously, not the spot you want to be at all, not the result. We were banking on a top 30, but we get 33rd, and guess what? We're not going to get last. We're not getting 35th or worse. So Indianapolis, let's check it off as a, as a successful race. I know we qualified 18th. But our horsepower just cannot handle everyone else's, especially at a huge track. Two and a half miles, I do believe, rectangle, like Indianapolis, like Daytona, like Talladega. We're just not going to have the horsepower. But we do move up back into 31st in points. Fastest lap goes to Jimmy Johnson, as well as most lap slide. He led six of the 11, counting pit stops, all that stuff. On the move goes Atlanta Castle, started 35th, finished 5th, tough break goes to Kurt Busch. Started outside pole position number 2, he finishes bottom 35. The results, Jimmy Johnson's your winner, congratulations to him. He deserves it with the fastest lap and laps most led. And guys, that is our race from Indianapolis. We will see you next week from the Pocono Mountains. For the Pennsylvania 400. And in the standings. Well. We're 31st. And in the chase standings. Still hasn't fixed itself. Maybe it will fix it. When the race for the chase. Comes down to it like Richmond. In the meantime. We have 7 races. I think 6 now to go before the chase. We will catch guys for every race before then. And during the chase. We should be locked in. We'll see you from the Pocono Mountains next week. Take care.